Hello, so I was thinking I hadn't done a lighter video in ages, so I thought I'd pick my favourite lighters at the moment, so 2018. Um, so not lighters that have come out this year or anything, but in my collection, my current favourite lighters of each genre, if you like. So what I'm going to do is look at a petrol lighter or liquid fuel lighter, um, an electric lighter, a jet lighter, and a butane lighter. So jet lighters, butane as well, but... Um, how I mean that is, you know, like a conventional butane lighter and then um, a jet butane lighter. And I wanted to look at both of those so, um, you know, it gives a bit of variety. So let's start off with the liquid fuel lighter. And I am definitely going to pick my Imco 6600 Junior. There you go. There's the right one at the bottom. This is actually a proper Imco, not a Chinese clone of an Imco. As you can see, it's quite a beat up old Imco, but it's a very good lighter. So you strike it, it lights on strike. Um, then you can uh, remove this bit. This is what I really like about the Imco compared to the Zippo. It's got a lot more utility use. You can take this out, use this as a candle, use it to heat water or something like that by placing it on the flat section on its bottom. Um, you also can keep spare flints in there. So it's a lot more kind of ideal in terms of everything's in the kit. Again, it's windproof. I wouldn't mind if I see one for a sensible price getting an Imco 6700, which is like a bigger version of the same lighter, essentially. But this thing, you know, it's a classic. As I said, the strike on open mechanism is very good. And all round, very good, easy to use lighter. It's quite a cool, unique design. Let's see, so I'm picking that one. If I had to go with a Zippo, though, it would be my brass Zippo, just because this one is uh, a lot better than conventional Zippos, holds fuel in it for longer. And again, you can't really beat a classic Zippo. But as I said, I do prefer the Imco because I think overall the Imco is a better package. But if you can't easily get an Imco, then a brass Zippo is the way to go. Okay, so now let's look at um, the conventional butane lighters. And for this, I've picked the metal clipper. The plastic clippers are also very good, but I like the metal clipper. I think it's quite nice looking with the brush or chrome style design. You've got your gas adjustment wheel at the bottom there, so you can make the small uh, flame bigger or smaller by hand or by putting a coin in there and turning it, or a screwdriver. And this one's got a nice hexagonal wheel, so... There you go, easy to light. But yeah, I really do like these. If you just wanted a conventional lighter, I think these look quite nice and do the job well. As I said, this is easy to adjust. However, I have had a quite a few people contact me recently saying that they've got these lighters and they didn't, the flame didn't adjust properly. If you've recently bought these, these either come with a one or two year guarantee. I can't remember which from um, Clipper. So if you have bought one of these and it doesn't work, obviously you just send it back. Um, every Clipper lighter I've had has always been fine, but I imagine, yes, you will get bad ones now and again. So if you bought one, it's under guarantee, obviously just send it back. Um, don't say, oh, I bought this lighter and it doesn't work. If it's under the guarantee, send it back. Um, so for my jet lighter, so the non-conventional butane one, I am going to go with the Clipper jet lighter. Uh, again, I'm a bit of a Clipper fanboy, to be honest, but I think the lighters are generally very good. So anyway, um, this one is very similar. It's got your gas adjustment wheel on the bottom. It's electric ignition, so piezoelectric. By simply pushing it in, it clicks and you get your jet works flawlessly. Uh, as you see, jet lighters create quite a lot of heat. I can feel the heat on my hand over there. Quite directional as well. The flame's fairly long um, when it's on full, which is nice. So again, it's got the adjustment lever on the bottom that's very easy to turn. So if I want to make the flame smaller, for example, I just turn it. It doesn't turn all that easily by hand. I think that's so you have to put a bit of effort in so you don't... Um, again, I've made it too small now. It's not going to light. But... Um, so let's turn it up a bit. But again, these are, dials are quite good in the sense that, you know, you can turn it by hand, you don't need a coin, but you can't really accidentally knock the flame down by hand. So, again, I think that's now set to full. And yeah, that's an even bigger flame now. So I probably don't need to flame that big, so I'll turn it down a bit more again. But, you know, as I was saying, these are really good. Jet lighters are great because if it's windy, it's very hard to blow them out. Um, they generate a lot of heat and it's a directional heat, so it's very good if you're trying to light something a bit more precise or you want a light cigar or something like that and do a nice clean job of it. So this is very good. I have a lot of other jet lighters in my collection, but this one I really like because, again, good gas adjustment system, very nice quality finish, decent fuel size on there, and it looks nice. So that's that one.
and for electric lighter I'm going to pick this kind of Zippo looking one the reason being with this particular electric lighter um, you uh, have the fully removable lid like a Zippo I don't think there's much point to that really to stop the lid closing because you know you don't need that bit at all but again it's like a clone from a Zippo um, but yeah as I was saying the reason I like this one is you can completely fold the lid out of the way and it still works and I guess if you wanted to you could take the lid off and this would still work fine whereas on a lot of these electric lighters um, it also has a but, uh, thing on the bottom to tell you that it's on like a little blue light um, like a lot of these electric lighters the issue is the first electric lighter I had and what was common on the very early electric lighters and they are definitely improving them now was that you can't use an electric lighter with the lid closed. It's like a safety mechanism, which is great. And on this one, you can't do it anyway, because when the lid is closed, the button you can't press. On some of them, they'd have like the button here or on the side. But the issue would be, once the lid is, you know, obviously closed, the lighter can't work, which is fine, in theory. But once the lid is open, the lighter would work. The issue is with a lot of them is that the lids only open like that far, and then you can't actually really use it very well because as I said before these are absolutely fine for lighting cigarettes don't get me wrong if you bought one with that intention it will do the job fine the issue is a lot of companies that sell these claim they can do everything a Zippo can do which they really can't they're good at lighting things as long as you can get them into the arc but if you only have a lid that opens like that it's really hard to actually do anything with it with one like this if you especially if you took the lid actually off you can get this in a lot more angles so it's definitely an improved design I have one of those stick kind of electric lighters it looks a bit like a cattle prod. That's a lot more practical as well, but size-wise it's not because it's like, you know, a big long stick. So this thing's the most practical one I've got. I have heard people saying that they're making some electric lighters now where they're kind of flat and the arc kind of goes across a flat piece, which is actually really good in the sense that, again, it's a lot more practical to light things that might be at weird angles. Because, you know, the more convenient they make a lighter, the better it is. I also like the fact this one has the nice kind of Zippo style, you know, doesn't flick as well as a Zippo, but it has that same sort of noise that the, uh, not quite as nice as a Zippo, but yeah. So yeah, the Imco 6600 as my liquid fuel lighter choice, the metal clipper as my regular butane choice, the clipper jet as my jet lighter choice, and the electric arc Zippo clone thing as my electric lighter choice. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. I said I want to diversify my content a bit more. I realised I hadn't done a lighter video in ages, so here we go. Here's a lighter video.